Oh, because you were shaking. Yeah. Shaking your legs. Yeah, because you know. I'll bet mine's shaking. I'll bet mine's shaking. Thank you. No, because you're not going to be able to bail out. Oh, it's going. Why are you leaking? If you were in the bed, I'll give you two. If you were in the bed, I'll give you two. Three. All right, any questions on the homework? <laughs> Jackson, any questions on the homework? And thank you for sending me emails and texts about tea in the swimming pool yesterday. I really appreciate that. <laughs> yeah, I sent you some. Did you watch the video? It wasn't me. I don't know. I don't. I don't want to say this. Holler, holler, holler. <laughs> All right, back to math. Any questions? All right, here we go. Uh, two through twenty evens. Number two, three point zero zero nine times ten to the fourth. Number four, two point one seven five times ten to the ninth. Jenna, you grading? Number six, three times 10 to the negative third. Hanny, you got your homework? I wasn't here yesterday. Okay. Uh, you definitely need to um, ask questions on scientific notation. It will be on the test. Number eight, 3.33 times 10 to the negative two. Uh, you, went, you move that decimal point all the way over to the far right. You move it until you make a number between one and 10. So it'd be that first three. Uh, number 10, uh, 48,600. Number 12, $6 billion. No. Uh, number 14, 0 0.00709. Number 16, oh my word, has that got a lot of zeros? 0 0.123, I can't count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 zeros, and then 20111. That was painful. Uh, number 18, all right, it's a word problem. They just wanted you to take the number and put in scientific notation. It wasn't much of a word problem. 2.5 times 10 to the negative 9. And number 20, same thing, uh, 6.25 times 10 to the fifth. You will have two questions on putting numbers into scientific notation. One will be big, one will be small. And the two questions... If I give you uh, scientific notation, put it back in standard form. One big, one small. They should be simple questions. If you need to put examples of how to do scientific notation in your resource card, do that. Question? Six was uh, three times 10 to the negative three. But I'll have kids that will miss this, even though not a single person said, this is challenging, I can't do this, what's going on? I'll get kids that won't write it down and they'll forget come test day. Wait, do I move it to the left, to the right? Is it positive, is it negative? I'm a little confused. Yes? Which one? 0 0.00709. If you can't believe in zero, right. Yes? Uh, so you put like uh, three times ten to the fourth. Yeah. I can live with that. I mean, that's the purpose of scientific notation, so that when we actually do the math, you can do it quickly, right? All right. Um, it is a review day. It is a review day. Uh, Grayson, grab a box with the review sheets in it. Did you watch the video? I watched five minutes of it. Yes. And as soon as he said that chlorine smells like chlorine, I stopped. He was saying that the smell was a, a smell similar to chlorine, right? It was a mixture of chlorine and urine. It, it should say like. Uh, I forgot. I forgot when he said it in the video, so I just said. But the original statement made by Jane, which was chlorine smells like urine, is not true. That's what you told me. If you had said that, I would have agreed we wouldn't have had this argument. All right. 
And anyone who absolutely never thought that that's what goes on clearly doesn't understand humans' interaction with water. All right. Okay. Now, let me explain to you what's going on here. Quiet, please. So we're going to do a quick review. Uh, the review will uh, be from the book. All right. It will tell you what numbers to do. The sheet of paper you have in here it says two different pages that we're going to do the review review on. Let me get this going here. So the chapter review will be 1 through 41 all. This is a lot. Now listen. The test itself has a lot of questions. Why? Because the majority of the test, are you listening? The majority of the test is adding and subtracting positive and negative numbers. I go through every single possibility. Hey, the first one's positive, the second one's negative. First one's negative, the second one's positive. Hey, they're both negative. Hey, they're both positive. I go through all the possibilities of adding two numbers together. Then we do subtraction, the same thing. We go through all those possibilities. That's why there's 41 of these. We do add, subtract, multiply, and divide with integers, positive and negative numbers. Okay? Then on page 99, right, because we got to review the scientific notation again, you got the scientific notation. As always, on the back of the sheet are the answers so that you can confirm. The second part, page 99, and this will be for you, right, uh, is the scientific notation. I'm giving you four of each, four putting it into scientific notation, four putting it into standard form, okay? So that's why there's two separate pages there. Please, for the love of all things holy, right? If you don't have the rules memorized for adding and subtracting, here's my suggestion. Uh, one, on your resource card, put an example of everything. Let's talk about everything. If we're adding, right, that means the first one is positive and the second one is negative. Or the first one is negative and the second one is positive. Or what's the other things that could happen? The first one is negative, and the second one is negative. Or the first one is positive, and the second one. Are there any other possibilities for adding? Okay. I would put all of these, maybe not two and four, because sometimes that leads to people thinking correctly, thinking correctly. Maybe put a three and a seven or something like that. For subtraction, well, let's see. The first one is positive, and the second one is negative. The first one is negative, and the second one is positive. The first one is negative, and the second one is also negative. And the last one is both of the numbers are negative. Or both of the numbers are positive, sorry. That's it. There are no other possibilities. That's every single possibility. There's eight of them. If you have an example of all eight, then at least you have a chance of getting to the right answer. Remember, all subtraction turns into addition. When two negatives are next to each other, that makes one positive, okay? And then for me, I always use the two finger method. Same or different signs? Different. Does different mean add or subtract? Subtract. Same or different signs? Different. Subtract. Same or different signs? Same. Add. Same or different signs? Same. Add. For subtraction, you might occasionally get to where you have two negative things right next to each other. Two negatives turn into one positive. That means the two negatives go away. This is two plus four. This is negative two plus four. The two negatives go away. But that's only in two of the eight possibilities of the combinations. For those of you that struggle with this, have this written down, and the answers, by the way, which I didn't write down. But as a class, you just told me exactly what to do. When the signs are the same, you add. When the signs are opposite, you subtract big minus small. And then whichever one you had the most of, negatives or positive, is the answer. I'm not going to go over multiplication and division. My claim is no one misses those, unless you literally multiply wrong. But negative times a negative is a? a positive times a negative is a? And same rule for division. The addition subtraction rules are not the same for multiplication and division. Jane. Can you explain why uh, multiplication and division are 
I, I've done it many times. The easiest way to think about it is this. I'm on a number line and I am at zero. Right? The first negative, right? Let's say I'm at positive seven. I'm at positive seven. I'm facing this way. The first negative turns me back towards the negative zone. The second negative turns me back again. Negatives flip your direction. So we would say the opposite of negative, that first negative is, we would say the word opposite. The opposite of negative is positive. Jackson. Did we ever get our quizzes back? Did I give you your quizzes back? I thought I did. No. I got geometry. I got geometry. I got course two. I did not. Thank you. All right, Jace, atrocious. You better do better next time, buddy. I thought you were the smart sixth grader. All right, Brutus, do better next time. You let yourself down. Christian. Not here. Why not Cal? I don't know. I wasn't thinking. Wait, did I do I'm trying to make jokes rather than uh, say Gabby. Yeah. Priscilla. Did I do the best one? I'm looking over there. Jackson, long stay there. I'm not joking on that one. Hi. Right. You did better than Jackson. Listen, please. Remember, absolute value never gives you a negative number. But if there's a negative outside an absolute value, the other the answer is negative. So, for instance, on number three, absolute value of negative seven is positive seven. But that negative on the outside means subtract the absolute value of negative seven. So subtract seven. Negative seven, negative seven are equal to each other. Lots of people miss made that mistake. Uh, Unfortunately, a lot of people also missed number two, which is ridiculous, right? Um, other than that, I would say 11 was the most missed one. Hey, you got two negatives. They're not next to each other. That means the signs are the same. Signs are the same, Jaden, you should add what you did, but you're adding two negatives, so the answer is negative. I put the negative on it. Well, I mean, that happened, right? All right. It wasn't positive 19. The answer is negative 19. The signs are the same. It's negative 19. Negative 19. No, it's not for that. If you started at negative 9, you're getting 10 smaller, that's negative 19. All right. Let me talk, please. <laughs> Lastly, this. As a class, we did very well. Um, however, a couple of people, 12, 13, and 15, they looked at that. They thought there was some adding and subtracting going on there. you got to be able to visually identify the difference between multiplication, adding, and subtracting. 12, 13, and 15, that's nothing but multiplication there. Okay? Uh, nobody missed 14 because they could see there's a dot there. But remember, if there's parentheses, and in front of the parentheses, there isn't a plus or minus. That means multiplication. Genevieve? Oh, 
what would be considered an A at the end? Of the Take your calculator out, do your calculation. So 90% or higher is an A. You put equals uh, negative 14. No, that's a nine. It's just poor, poor handwriting. No. <laughs> You're right. That I should lose a point there for bad handwriting. Right? I should do a point. No. I get sloppy sometimes with my notes. All right. Hey, as a reminder, now that I've done this, here's what we're doing in class today. We are reviewing for our test. So the procedures are: you're going to work. I mean, you're going to do this. This isn't a suggestion. You're going to do the review. My claim is the reviews are always like the test. So as you do your review, you're basically taking the test. Uh, you're going to work by yourself, and it's got to be quiet. One, it allows you to, well, eight up to ten minutes of time, but allows you to judge whether or not you can take this test in the right amount of time. Uh, if you need any help, absolutely. It's your last chance to ask me for help. I might give you some words of encouragement tomorrow, but it's too late to get any help tomorrow when we take the test. Uh, when you study for a math test, and, and someone gives you a review, the ones you get right, you don't need to review. You got them right, unless it was a lucky guess. You should review the ones that you get wrong, because I give you the answers on the back of the sheet. Check your answers, okay? So when you get home and you're wondering what to study, or in student advisement, you're looking over, you study the ones you get wrong, okay? I just handed you back the quiz. You can see what you just got wrong on your adding, subtracting. Those are the ones that you should put the reminder on your resource card. As always, you can bring a multiplication table in. For those that need that, I'm not giving you one. Bring one in. I would hate for you to miss something because you can't do 8 times 7. We're not doing 8 times 7 this year. We're doing a negative times a positive. Right? So if you need a multiplication table, I don't care. No calculators, but you can certainly use a multiplication table. Jackson. So if there's three numbers, so if there's like three numbers, adding and deciding. Go Got left or right. right. If it's just adding, then you have the choice of moving around. But if it's adding and subtracting or just subtracting, you got to go left to right. Any other questions? All right, get started. For me, this is, and I, I've said the story many times, eighth or ninth grade is where I figured out adding, subtracting, positive and negative numbers. This is what did it for me is I noticed the patterns. For those of you that are a pattern person, that works out well. For those of you that are not and they need rules, then you need to write your, yourself down the rules of how to do this. It is not the same thing for multiplication division. Multiplication division have different rules than adding and subtracting. Two negatives and multiplication make a... Right. Notice two negatives in addition make a negative. Not the same rule as multiplication. Yes, Grayson. To get to do what? Go for it. I didn't hear what you said. It didn't sound like bathroom though. Thank you for not telling me the details. When I said to do what? Uh here, let's talk about scientific notation. Let's do the last thing first. Have you ever done this before? Okay. So we're going to take large numbers, or we're going to take small numbers, and write them in a different Excuse way. Me? Yes, ma'am. Can I have Amber to the office? She's on her way. Thank you. She's going to bring back donuts, yes? Yeah. 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 Do it. 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 Hey, guys, time out. 
Uh, I don't need to point out which rule we're violating right there, but let's uh, let's work quietly and let's work. Thank you. All right, so to change him back to what's called standard form, right? So write the numbers down. Standard form. Big numbers, we're going to move to the right. Those big numbers get zeros on the right. Small numbers and zeros on the left. So when the number's negative, we're moving to the left. The number's positive, we're moving it to the right. How many decimal places are we going to move it? How many decimal places are we going to move it? How many decimal places are we going to move it? And it's just a question of are you moving it left or right? Big numbers, you move to the right. Small numbers, you move to the left. And that's the whole thing. See if you can do that with the answers on the back. Do this first. Make sure that this makes, makes sense to you. If it doesn't, I'll talk about it. There's going to be four questions on the test. Um, yeah. Oh, you look hard. Got this? Got this? Got this? Got this? Got this? Philip, you guys feeling confident about the scientific notation? Yes. If not, then you need to write in your resource card steps and rules for yourself. I'm just making my own. Yeah, I don't give you a resource card. You make your own. Well, no, what I'm saying is, I'm like, I don't even want to I'm just making my own. Absolute value is always positive. Absolute value is always, always, always positive. Make sure you ask for help if you need it. Kaden. <laughs> you know this is being recorded, right? All right, e-learners, if you have any questions, let me know. No, Donovan isn't here today.